in the West, for example, you know, uh, and uh, uh, an absolutely evil political system situated in the East. Uh, but we, I think, become aware of the fact that with all new differences, there are analogies between the, 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 the problems of political participation that you may uh, face in different parts of the European continent at different moments. But nevertheless, I mean, they, they, these people, um, with the, their leaders, their spontaneously emerged uh, leaders, many of them, very strange combination of critical Marxists and uh, uh, Christian uh, 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 activists. Yeah. You know? I, uh, yeah. I try to remember the name of that woman who was heading the demonstrations in Leipzig. Um, Barbara or uh, Birgit Bölau or something like that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in German now, so the right. name doesn't come to me. My man. So they, they they walked around. Remember, every Monday yeah, around, church, uh, yeah. around the church, yeah? and and the watchword was "Wir sind das Volk." We are the people. Yeah? You, the uh, uh, government, the nomenclatura, yeah. the uh, uh, the dictatorships, are uh, uh, in spite of your. Uh, populist or, or, or popular uh, socialist uh, uh, discourse that have nothing to do with the people. Yeah. We are the people. Uh, and uh, which uh, uh, could also uh, uh, remind us of the uh, of previous uh, uh, moments. Yeah, uh, absolutely. The famous poem by Brecht, uh, uh, who himself had a dubious attitude, in fact, uh, at the time, but uh, uh, after the uh, uh, 51 or 53 uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, riots in East Berlin, where the, the, which says uh, something like, uh, 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 the party um, uh, um, has issued a declaration that um, it has um, uh, a lost um, a confidence in the in 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 in, in the people. Oh, people that's like that. Yeah. If this is the case, why not dissolve the people <laughs> and elect another <laughs> one? <laughs> So, no, but these are very, very profound uh, 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 problems. And at some point, remember, the uh, uh, mottos of the demonstrations became Wir sind ein Volk, we are one single people with the West, which gave some of us a lot to think. Was that the inevitable uh, uh, way, outcome of it, uh, or was that... Uh, a regrettable uh, shift from uh, democracy to nationalism. Uh, these questions are still there, and, 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 and so these. Yeah. The, in any case, there has been a political, there has been a political practice, so to speak, or, or no, activity, absolutely. activity. Yeah, which... And of course, in 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 the Soviet Union, in the in the, in the Soviet Union, the initiative apparently came entirely from the top. Yeah. And then it's got a bunch of, uh, etc. Uh, and perhaps today we, we witness the bitter consequences of the fact that it came from the top, and uh, but there are other causes. But uh, in any case, you could not say that they had taken that no politics had taken place no, uh, in, 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 in these countries Absolutely. whenever it could, whenever it could, and seen from today's situation in Europe, this is, uh, this is interesting. Uh, this is because the question we're asking yeah. ourselves right now, uh, whether we live in Romania or in Italy or in France, or perhaps even in Britain uh, uh, or Germany, is um, what kind of politics do we have? Yeah. And, and, and that brings to the, to, to the question of how, what was Western Europe? And, the West, if you like, for the sake of argument, the West has many other meanings. Um, but how how was that, in your view, how was the concept of Europe that you worked on changed by 1989? I mean, the way you talk 
very rightly, is in Europe before 89 that exists as an entity, that exists divided, but nevertheless, you're, talk, you're talking about your presence in, in Prague and, 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 and also recognition, simply imaginative recognition of the fact that Europe did not stop. At the, at the Berlin Wall or at the border with, uh, with uh, Austria. I had many reasons to go to Prague in the 80s, in the early 80s, not without difficulty. I remember I, I <laughs> it was so difficult for me to take that plane the first time because I thought, uh, okay, I'd arrive there. What I'd say to these dissidents is, uh, I'm, uh, um, I, I come and in the gesture of uh, support and, and solidarity with you, and that was the I was continuously uh, uh, um, anticipating that conversation, rehearsing. you know, mm -hmm. rehearsing. And then they would say, uh, "Okay, we are uh, struggling against the communist dictatorship." So, uh, um, and then I'd have to say, "But I have been a communist myself for years." Mm -hmm. And then they would ask me, "How could you? Uh, uh, how can you?" Uh, 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 be with us, mm -hmm. uh, and then I have to say something like, uh, "Out of bad conscience," you know. <laughs> so I was, I was, uh, I was terribly uneasy. And the day I, I needed to, it was not that I feared the police or whatever. You know, Derrida, who had come there as a first visitor, had had trouble with the local police. They had tried; they had put him in jail for two days tried to uh, uh, um, um, accuse him of being a drug uh, smuggler, uh, so he had had some uneasy uh, uh, moments. But first of all, we all thought, or I thought, this um, has happened once, mm -hmm. but it ended in the best possible way for us. I mean, they had to release him and drop all these ch stupid charges. They won't do it again, so mm -hmm. I wasn't fearing that very much. And even I thought, even if I'm arrested, what do I risk? Nothing. I wasn't afraid of uh, uh, such things. What I was afraid of was the conversation yeah. with these fellow Europeans with whom I would uh, uh, possibly have absolutely no um, uh, common language. Mm. Um, and so the time of the plane was uh, was approaching, and I couldn't resolve myself, you know, to get into the <laughs> sure go, into sure the into the, uh, the, the the bus, you know, the bus. And in the end, I said to me, "Are you such a coward? Are you? Such? That's impossible." So I, I I I took the plane. I arrived there, and then I leave aside some uh, silly details, but interesting, but uh, anecdotic. Uh, nothing went the way it was supposed to 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 go because so so and and the first person I met in fact was a philosopher uh, who had succeeded uh, but uh, who had succeeded um, uh, Patochka mm -hmm. as a spokesman after his death uh, of the uh, Charter seventy seven etc called Ladislav Haidanek uh, who is now probably a very old man at the time. He was was about my age, perhaps a few years older, you know, but important thing, we were more or less, of, no, he was older than me, he was older than me. So, um, so I was supposed to see him only later, but since the people I needed to see the first days uh, were, uh, um, had left their, uh, their place because they were fearing uh, uh, arrestation or uh, repression, and so I decided to, 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 to to see him, to, to go to his place. Uh, the day I wasn't supposed to go there, which was breaking the rules, and so on and so on. So I, I went there, and he was the first person uh, uh, with whom I spoke. And uh, it was in February or January, and incre incredibly cold. Uh, we started to speaking in his apartment, which was heated, uh, of course. And I said to him, but there are microphones all around. He said, of course. Uh, 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 fuck them. Uh, uh, okay, but at some point, uh, you can uh, see them. Uh, <laughs> he, he said, "Let's go out. Let's go out. Let's take a walk." So it was, I don't know. I mean, 15 degrees below yeah. zero. We started walking in a in a in a park and speaking. After an hour, I couldn't even move my lips, and so they were totally totally frozen. And we discussed the political history of Europe. I mean, as we as we uh, 
as we saw it. And there was, it's not that we had had the same experiences and so on, but there was no gap. No. And the fact that I had been at a later age associated with communism as a political movement in the West, and he had been living under communism in the East, which was not the same communism, but was part of sort of common ideological uh, uh, system, became an object of common uh, 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 reflection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was reinforced, in fact, in my uh, 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 idea that the political history of Europe had not been interrupted by communism, no more than it had been interrupted by Nazism, or by any of the tragedies. Mm -hmm. And I was reinforcing the idea that as there was an idea of Europe in the West, there had been an idea of Europe in the East. Now, that they did not coincide neither in the official discourses of the uh, European Union uh, the, on, on one side and or uh, uh, the socialist uh, uh, the Comic Con on the other side nor in the um, awareness and, and of uh, um, say uh, yes intellectuals mm -hmm. like we uh, where, that they did not coincide. Uh, um, that was the that was the interesting and and uh, uh, productive, I would say, uh, uh, aspect of the whole thing. And today, I I still don't believe that there is anything like a single idea of Europe or a unified idea of Europe. I think there are different competing and, in a sense, perhaps even incompatible ideas of, uh, of, of, but, but that, of, that, of Europe. That, so they're distributed yeah. in a different... But it does uh, bring me to a, the question. You said very clearly and I think beautifully that the, the real existing communism didn't interrupt the political history of Europe. But the political history of Europe is, is, is about, it seems to me, certain antagonisms, certain agonisms certain conflicts, certain different views of what Europe is. Mm -hmm. And is there not an argument that 1989 did, in a sense, interrupt that agonistic history? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the idea of Europe that you, that you talk about, which is a, hi a history of, of disputes, which you know, are sometimes mm -hmm. catastrophic and calamitous and are mm -hmm. sometimes incredibly productive, you know, the, the, the agonistic history. Is that something that you see in the last 20 years having been progressed? Progressed? Developed? Developed. Strengthened? Do you? No. I would say no. <laughs> yeah. I would say no. I mean, maybe I'm, answering, I'm asking the I question in no. order to get the answer. I would answers. say no. I would say no. Yeah. Uh, now the... Um, because that's the political history of Europe that you talk about. I mean, that that sense, no? Of, uh, well, I see, I perceive with sadness. I mean, right now, a sort of uh, uh, a world of uh, uh, resentment uh, invading the picture between the different <laughs> uh, parts of Europe, which uh, mm -hmm. which contributes uh, um, uh, uh, to me. Um, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, to um, uh, uh, something which, uh, of course, um, uh, destroys, so to speak, or ruins uh, many of my uh, 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 illusions, namely um, sort of uh, um, um, return and, 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 and back, backlash of, uh, of, of, of nationalism in Europe. I don't say that only, I don't say, it's a common place. I mean, each side sees nationalism on the other side, which is already evidence of the fact that it's everywhere and, and well distributed. So it's not more in uh, Poland or, than in France or, 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 or Italy or here, or here or the Netherlands. Even the, 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 the countries which uh, um, seen from the academia 
apparently had uh, um, uh, gone uh, uh, um, further or developed uh, uh, um, more in the uh, uh, direction of what Habermas calls the post-national post constellation. Uh, so that, there, there. and and so that's it's 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 worrying. But, but it's what, worrying. But how does that? But yeah. in the just oh, sorry, it's no no no. Yeah, you're right to interrupt my flow. Uh, um, <coughs> uh, so I will not uh, um, expand on the on the ways in which it, as I said, it uh, ruins. Uh, uh, my illusion to that. Only to say that uh, some people, not everybody, but some people in my generation, one way or another, exchanged, you might say that, I'm saying that with a little bit of self criticism, uh, exchanged the communist utopia for the European uh, 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 utopia. Mm -hmm. The uh, um, uh, you forced me to say that on the spot. Uh, I don't know if I would defend it uh, officially. But, uh, 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 and, of course, and, and what's the link? Uh, and, and which has to do with a certain perception of the idea of Europe, with what we inherited from our uh, um, uh, parents and all that, who had lived through Nazism and, 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 and the Second World War and all that. Of course, it was the critique of nationalism. Was internationalism, or was post-nationalism, or was the clear. So that's why it's uh, so it's so it's so painful in a sense. Huh? And um, but, but, um, but that, yeah. then, the, you know, and 20 years ago, I would have uh, burned my uh, arm. I mean, put me in my mouth through. I don't know what the English uh, yeah. what that is. I mean, uh, 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 that with difficulties, etc., etc. Um, with uh, um, give him my right arm. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> um, that slowly or more rapidly, something like a political conversation across the borders mm -hmm. would start in in in, in 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 Europe, leading to something like what. Uh, uh, political theorists called the European public sphere, etc. and I thought the intellectuals had a role, and the artists had to to play uh, um, yeah, a, a very crucial role to play there, if only to translate I mean, from one language into another, yeah. or from one culture into into, yeah. into yeah. another, and so on. And so, of course, the 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 the, the very uh, sad feeling many of us have today. Um, is uh, it's not happened. Yeah. It's even in a sense regressed. Uh, and the consequences are everywhere in the form of uh, not only of uh, mutual uh, um, uh, hatreds and, and, and resentments and, and uh, so, but in the fact of course that the politicians, the worst kind of politicians now at the level of Europe with one foot in Brussels and the other one in their uh, variously uh, populist forms of uh, national governments are entirely controlling uh, uh, the game, you know, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and um, and 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 the scapegoats, of course, are uh, uh, targeted. Uh, I just wrote a preface for. A, 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 uh, I had no right to write that, but they asked me uh, for a, a collective volume on the situation of Roma, uh, Romani people in, uh, in different uh, uh, parts of Europe, yeah. East and West, etc. Very interesting. Yeah. And, uh, and so, but um, uh, to to qualify that, to qualify that. Um, Disillusion is not a good uh, uh, instrument of uh, um, analysis. Uh, um, it's absurd to think that um, 20 years after the uh, uh, fall of the war, uh, uh, we're returning to 19th century uh, 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 nationalistic uh, uh, antagonisms only with a, a, a big bureaucracy uh, 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 
showering uh, 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 in, 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 in Brussels. Uh, uh, I don't want to simply say a kind of uh, goodwill, you know, uh, formula. It's slower than uh, what we thought, but uh, etc. But in fact, uh, um, uh, um, communications are increasing within Europe. I tend to believe that the movements of de-democratization, as my friend Wendy Brown would say, that we are witnessing in, in, in today's politics are, so to speak, feeding themselves uh, uh, reciprocally at the national level and at the supranational level. Um, so, um, the, the, the problem is how to, how to start again uh, at both levels uh, uh, something like a political um, um, Initiative. But one, one not explanation, and but one possibility for the for the impoverishment of politics. And I think, you know, we we have a responsibility for our politicians in a way. When you say our politicians Absolutely. are appalling, it's also us that have, uh, have chosen. Absolutely. And I suppose the loss of ideological discourse, which seems to happen in this public sphere after '89, or it's a suggestion that mm -hmm. that more, I suppose, our thinking in relation to former West, that this loss of an ideological possibility to discuss things in ideological terms, mm -hmm. that things are reduced to managerial and pragmatic mm -hmm. considerations of what makes it... Governance, a as they call it governance, today. Yeah. Governance. So, so, so politics is replaced by governance. In a sense, it's the result, not so much of globalization or of forces of economic, uh, uh, of corpor corpor corporationism, corporatism, mm -hmm. but, of, uh, but of the failure of, of the ideological system in 89, mm. not as, a, as a, really, a real example, but as a sort of imaginative force, an imaginative possibility. And I just wonder whether you see that connection. You talked already about the communist utopia being replaced in a sense by a European utopia, which is an interesting move, but that in a way confirms that But I'm not that sure that was the case in the East. I mean, possibly with some people. Yeah. So I wouldn't like to uh, uh, um, judge from outside and at the risk of absolute caricature. But um, now, of course, well, I have my doubts about whether yeah. people, intellectuals, workers, uh, uh, entrepreneurs, President Bush once said, look, these French, they're so stupid, they don't even have the word as a friend. That was one of the Bush. Uh, That's one of the great ones. <laughs> so, the, so did they have a feeling that they were joining Europe, or did they have a feeling that they were joining the West? Well, this is the important question for us. Um, what, 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 is, what is then the West for you now, 2009? What does the West mean? Does it mean anything for anybody? I don't know. <laughs> it's used in common parlance relatively frequently. I just fell up in, uh, as an ideological uh, 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 reference. When we talk about the West, we talk about the Western, Western, relation to Western democracy or, or the Western, Western relation. relation to yes, of course, in that case, it means something. Huh? NATO. Yeah. Means so NATO. Military. It's a, it's a code word for NATO. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what about its cultural and political meaning? Well, maybe NATO is its political voice, as there isn't any no, politics. But <laughs> what about its cultural meaning? Do you, does, does the West still stop at, uh, at um, Vienna? If they were joining the West, if they were joining the West, they, then Prague couldn't have been in the West because it was joining the West. I'm totally. Uh... <laughs> is, is the West uh, uh, tolerant by any interest? I mean, does it does it is it is it a concept a, which has a, any any I mean, value? We were, a moment ago, we were uh, uh, um, uh, we were um, uh, alluding to the uh, uh, hollowness of the. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, 
uh, Soviet system, etc. So if you push me in that direction, I would uh, I'd be very tempted to, to, to say that the word West today, apart from the, uh, um, say, uh, uh, the continuation, the uneasy continuation of a certain uh, um, um, imperial system, Uh, is 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 a completely hollow uh, uh, word. Now, maybe um, the imperial system will be NATO. I think that's yes, but there are many other imperial systems in the in the in in in, in the world today. This mm -hmm. is not the only one. No, it's not the only one. Um, what? What comes to my uh, uh, mind first is, maybe it's a little convoluted, is something like uh, the West, in the last 10 years, after 9-11, and well, it would be an interesting thing to, 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 dis to discuss uh, when that all started, uh, after all the, anyway, there had been problems in the Middle East before that, first Gulf War, and whatever. Yeah? Um, but after 9-11, the West became the name, or one of the names, under which um, 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 it was um, um, explained and, uh, and said that democracy would be spread uh, uh, around the world, uh, so it's re the 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 positive reference to the West uh, uh, essentially uh, uh, um, uh, relied on this uh, uh, close association, and this uh, um, uh, is not entirely hollow. Uh, first of all, it's a language that could appeal to people uh, uh, in many parts of the world. Um, to some extent, and you say that Obama is reinforcing that, because there are aspects of the political systems of the United States or other places that a lot of people in the world might uh, uh, envy in some sense. No. Um, or because um, because you could uh, uh, you could. Uh, um, you could uh, uh, could not um, um, uh, um, um, renounce, I would say, uh, the uh, um, uh, contents and, and 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 meaning and and, and provocation. I would say not only appeal, but provocation that that the name democracy uh, 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 contains. Now, uh, uh, um, with respect to that, especially in the Critical uh, uh, socialist or post-socialist uh, so-calls, in which some of us uh, um, uh, discuss and, and live, there are different attitudes. One, which is, I would say, sort of ultra simplified version of the Marxist theory of ideologies. Son, I simplify, but say something like: if democracy is the name. Uh, under which the West invades the whole world or tries to subject uh, uh, countries or, or culture, etc. This means that democracy, in fact, is not only uh, 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 um, uh, an illusion but a form, uh, um, a system of deceit and, 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 and oppression. I disagree with that, mm -hmm. you know. I completely agree with the idea that you cannot. Uh, um, uh, export democracy, that you cannot impose uh, 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 democracy by arms. Robespierre already had said that. Uh, no, nobody, uh, person, uh, 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 name les, 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 les missionnaires armés. Uh, missionaries <laughs> uh, uh, who come with weapons are, 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 are not welcome. Uh, <laughs> anywhere. And I even agree with the idea that this picture of democracy as the existing system in the West 
as to be criticized to the roots, uh, because it actually uh, 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 covers not only um, limitations and shortcomings, but forms of uh, um, um, uh, oppression and, 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 uh, and discrimination. Uh, but that doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, close the debate about uh, 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 democracy. Mm -hmm. uh, so in a, in a, in a, in a, in a sense, um, um, the, 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 the essential problem um, uh, today, now that the failure of this uh, um, project has become uh, uh, clear is uh, is uh, is is a de-westernization, if you like, of the um, uh, issue of uh, of uh, of democracy at different uh, uh, level. Uh, or to use a formula that has been proposed. I mean, I became aware that this is also an ambiguous formula. I. Um, I don't know the name uh, uh, Boaventura de Souza Santos says something to you. He's a, a Portuguese uh, political theorist who has been extremely active in uh, theorizing the Porto Alegre uh, movement, the, oh, okay. uh, the uh, um, uh, alter um, uh, globalization, globalization uh, forums and so on, rights in English. So his motto is democratizing democracy. Now, uh, uh, this is an ambiguous formula because it was also used by others. Uh, uh, the third way in Britain, uh, uh, Giddens theorized that uh, uh, and it was enthusiastically adopted by uh, uh, the Blair uh, uh, government and so on. So there are different understandings and I'm not uh, buying everything under that name. Uh, but the idea that democracy is a problem and that, uh, that it's not a regime uh, which you can describe. Uh, however precious or important uh, uh, this or these or, or that institutions are. Uh, um, an open question uh, in which the West is a participant or people from the ex-West. I tend to believe that all these geocultural, geo geopolitical distinctions are losing more and more of their uh, 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 reality. I mean, north and south, east and west. I mean, I know that uh, famous poet wrote, "East is east, and west is west." <laughs> but uh, 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 so north and or uh, 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 center periphery, or, uh, uh, or the notion third world. I mean, you, you hear people speak about the third world, so these are historic references, but on the ground it's becoming less and less uh, uh, viable, I would say, to uh, uh, identify boundaries and say the east starts in Vienna, or the south starts in, uh, in Mexico in City, <laughs> or in uh, where? In, uh, in, in Serbia, in uh, Vienna. <laughs> now, so, but, but what remains, what remains? is the, 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 the virtue of the possible contribution of um, people, not only intellectuals, above all, not only intellectuals, from different parts of the world who have uh, um, uh, lived through these divisions to, to their possible contribution to, I would say, a general debate about the forms of democracy in today's and tomorrow's globalized uh, 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 world, uh, meaning... Absolutely, absolutely. But that also means that democracy needs to be deep cultured in a certain sense, because if we talk about Western democracy, then, then again, I'm answering my no, question. No, 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 no. But, but uh, you answer your question. <laughs> we, we, we tend to talk about um, a, a, a Christian of different mm. sects, perhaps, but a Christian, um, a, a notion of the Enlightenment, which is connected to uh, and, uh, and of an, mm. uh, an experimental pragmatism, perhaps, mm. that's also connected culturally. Yes. Which is which is packaged together with mm. the democracy that, of course, far predates yes. any of those notions. Mm. Um, and 
that idea of de-westernizing democracy is for me quite inspiring. It's not one that I've heard before. I, 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 yes. there, mm -hmm. well, you must be right uh, at uh, a certain uh, uh, general level, but then we have to resist, I believe, uh, the um, the um, um, tricky and uh, and perverse influence of the idea of the clash of civilizations, mm -hmm. uh, even uh, among, I would say, uh, 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 progressives and uh, etc., um, who um, oppose it. Uh, um, so I'm aware what I, I say now is extremely abstract, but uh, the tendency to identify either nations or cultures or civilizations, regions of the of the of the world, parts of hum, of, of humankind, with homogeneous uh, um, and and therefore incompatible or incommunicable uh, um, uh, entities. In our units is uh, is 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 dangerous and and, and absurd. Absolutely. And if if Absolutely. the history of Europe can teach something, I mean, which is not, because I once wrote, uh, I don't know if, uh, uh, well, that's probably in the same uh, text that you kindly alluded to in Europe after communism, uh, um, or a, a similar text that I wrote at the time of the. Uh, breaking out of the uh, bloody ethnic wars of Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia. Uh, which I keep calling Yugoslavia because I don't see why that should be the name of a single state. I mean, it's uh, ex-Yugoslavia or former Yugoslavia. That's funny. Uh, Reform. uh, former. Uh, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from former... Uh, uh, I'm from former Czechoslovakia. Uh, former Czechoslovakia, yeah. Anyway, so I, I remember I, I also at the time, like many others, I mean, uh, desperately tried to make sense of what seemed to be deprived of any uh, uh, meaning. So um, describing the violent, bloody, etc., incompatibilities between cultures or nations or languages within this narrow and, 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 and small uh, 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 region, I wrote something like, in fact, this is, like it or not, uh, a projection, a reduced image of what is taking place uh, uh, in, in, in Europe as such. And from that point of view, there are Europes everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, that is overlapping uh, 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 discourses and cultures, and the degree of hostility, I mean, contrary to what we hear every day about the incompatibility of Christianity and Islam or whatever, the degree of hostility is uh, is is just as uh, as as uh, high and, and and intense when the the cultural uh, 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 differences are supposed to be uh, uh, small. Of course, yeah. and even higher and in some sense. Uh, even <laughs> higher in some sense. But the smaller the difference, the if, more. If the roots, if some of the roots are in the religious discourse, yeah. we yeah. perfectly know, and the same would be demonstrated by uh, India or yeah. uh, Indian subcontinent. Uh, 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 we know that uh, uh, that the the. The, the, the violence of the clash increases with the uh, uh, proximity of the, uh, of the, of the cultures and the, and the discourses. Absolutely. So, um, but it made me think when, when you said about I'm from former Yugoslavia or ex Yugoslavia, whether that identity of formerness is actually such a bad thing. <laughs> Because it, in a sense, it liberates identity. In a certain way. I mean, it, it doesn't. Maybe. It doesn't. You don't Maybe. lose an identity. Maybe. You don't Maybe. say, you, "I am a citizen of the world." This kind of absurdist, uh, little, little uh, 
slightly sort of pull it back ideas to some extent of the... Uh, are you, are uh, you absolutely <laughs> opposed to the notion of being a citizen of the world? I think it's, it's such a meaningless... I think it's... Form of our world. <laughs> <laughs> no, the world still exists. I just, I just find it, I think cosmopolitanism, cosmopolitanism mm. is such, a, is such a, a, a difficult concept to create identity around. And yes. I don't think it's something that I can see... Yes. Um, uh, except over the very long term. Yes, but the alternative is not the rootedness, the being no, rooted but, but maybe in a substantial... Yeah. Uh, sorry? But this formalness... Might formalness, be something yeah, which is in between. That's the result of our conversation today <laughs> will be that, exactly that. We have created the, 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 the interesting step, concept of formalness. A step between a step the identity. Between, so, so no longer to be French, absolutely. but to be former French. Is not to go all the way yet. To and 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 but now we are letting our uh, perhaps it was the case since the beginning but we are letting our uh, our lips, uh, our tongues, and our uh, our brains uh, uh, freely uh, uh, articulate things. Uh, yes, so perhaps. but uh, um, you know. Um, well, I had different masters in philosophy. One of them was Derrida, and as we know, of course, um, uh, uh, Derrida's uh, permanent target in philosophy, uh, uh, and uh, therefore many of us had difficulties with him on that, was the present, uh, or you might say the self uh, um, uh, sufficiency, um, um, the thickness of the present, yeah. so to speak. Huh? So, in a sense, I mean, his idea of history or politics et cetera, would be to um, uh, get rid of the primacy of the present. That's very opposed to my uh, own notion of politics, which, of course, sticks to the idea that you uh, have to understand the present in which you live, uh, as Foucault would say. I mean. Uh, mm. uh, um, and, and act in a sense. I mean, uh, but then there is something interesting in the idea that the present, in a sense, does not exist. What exists are traces uh, on the one side and anticipations uh, uh, on the other side, the to come. Uh, yeah. So maybe we should, uh, we could, we could say that we we try to be citizens of former uh, 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 states or, or, or entities. And um, 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 uh, future, yeah. uh, future um, um, uh, entities or cities uh, to come, yeah. to come. Yeah. And Europe is one of them. Yes, Europe is one of them. Well, the interesting thing with Europe is it's it's both. I mean, uh, it's something that used to exist. Yeah mythically, uh, perhaps, but not entirely, uh, used to exist in literature. The extent to which there used to be a European literature in the uh, early, uh, in the 30s, I mean, the, the, in, the, in the early uh, 20th century, that included, of course, Mittel Europa and, 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 the, Sla and, 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 and the Slavs, etc., uh, um, uh, um, compared with uh, what we have today, I don't know if we have global literature, but we don't have European literature. That, uh, so, and that was part of a certain way of... Uh, uh, now, of course, cosmopolitanism, as you mentioned, was pure and simply the um, compensatory, I would say, uh, a utopian... Uh, it was the utopian counterpart of the strong nationalisms and yes. nations that yes. opposed one another. And, and, and it was very much the realm in which the artists and the, and the intellectuals would uh, live. It would be either nationalists themselves yeah. or citizens of the, of, of the, of the world. Yeah? So Europe is something of the past, but Europe is also basically something uh, um, uh, of, the, of, the, of the future. That is something we have to make. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, but, and not something yeah. in which we live. And not something, in, or only in a very unsatisfactory uh, 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 manner.
But in a sense, this former status actually it permits you to live in an mm. unsatisfactory moment of mm. uh, lack of definition. Ask uh, a former Czechoslovakian. <laughs> <laughs> I think this uh, is a perfect system. moment to uh, thank you for this interview. You won't say anything about it. Uh, it's past six. No. <laughs> it's past six. You know, I'm so ashamed because I'm totally unable to answer your questions. Oh. I, I let no, my, no, I let my, uh, my tongue uh, going in any uh, uh, well, and, and, and he said, why don't you come to Dublin? We speak English too here. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the joys of English though. It has a very, very wide yeah, variety well, of versions. That's one of the great things, <laughs> yes. The East European yeah. version is the most exciting. Huh? And there's the Dutch version. There's there's Dutch version. version. <laughs> okay, anyway, and after that, uh, in fact, I was, well, I wasn't afraid of, uh, of trying, of uh, throwing myself into, into the, the water. Into the water. But the students were, of course, much better than me, and that was uh, an enormous help. Was it help? When I, when I gave first first lecture in New York where I was teaching, mm -hmm. when I finished I was completely relieved and there was this hand raised somewhere at the back of the room saying, would you mind summarizing what <laughs> you just tried to... Ah! That's and then terrible. I understood my... No, I had been traumatized, I have to tell you. I had yeah. been traumatized by... Uh, um, well. Was it before that or later? Probably, I was traumatized by experiences in uh, in uh, English universities mm -hmm. being invited to it's a different issue. to Oxford or Cambridge. I mean, the first thing you realize is they all look down uh, to you, and their attitude clearly means this guy. Well, it means two things. Exactly. First, he doesn't speak English, which already is. Bad. is bad. Yeah? And second, he comes with a huge reputation, but uh, which he probably doesn't deserve. Mm -hmm. In any case, we see that. True. But these are horrible places. Uh, I changed my mind, of course, later when I went to other places. Mm -hmm. uh, in, even in Britain, I mean, it's, uh, this is very... But then I went to the United States and that was an absolute relief because there they don't mind. They don't mind. No, they don't mind. The one, thing they, <laughs> one thing they want is, uh, is get something from you. Yeah? No, I agree. I mean, the class system. Is so it's, it's totally uh, uh, different. And now when, whenever I, I, I... Well, I'm still at London today is... Nothing comparable with uh, the, the Oxbridge. Uh, but I'm not sure uh, Oxbridge has, has changed so much, actually. No, it's probably... I think, it's, uh, I think uh, London uh, is another place. No, London is another place. And look, uh, uh, in last, uh, when was it, April or May, after I had uh, organized uh, this little conference on Spinoza in London at Berkeley College with a British colleague there, an old friend of mine, um, Max Silverman, who's uh, written on uh, immigration in France and also was chair of the French department um, in Leeds, and who had insisted over the years that I visited them there, etc. He came back to me and said, "Why don't you uh, uh, stay another two days and?" and come to, to Leeds and they, they did things very well. They organized a public debate with the great, the local great man whom I always wanted to meet, that Zygmunt Baumann. Yes. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. wonderful man. Well, it was, it was uh, well organized from here, no? from the Center of the Humanities. Did Cosmin, my, my colleague, was there? Sorry. No, no, maybe. It's this, it's, yeah, I mean. Was in last spring, yes. And then I. We also had a seminar uh, at the center of that. So I had never been. I had been once to Manchester long, long ago. And once Don't start. Uh, twice to That's the, you know, close to And Manchester. then I, I had this experience in Leeds, which was wonderful. I mean, people were 
very, very friendly, very, yes. And, uh, and the conversations were present, interesting. So, but of course, you know, the people in Oxford and Cambridge look down on the people in Leeds. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Isn't it? No, no, I hope you don't uh, miss, uh, I, mean, uh, I don't know, maybe you're sh really shocked, but uh, whenever I face this kind of reactions in mean, academic places in Britain, no, etc., there are two things that uh, help me. Uh, not getting mad and etc. One is I realized the French were just as bad as that. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> foreigners. So I, I, I think okay, these uh, Brits are impossible, but we are no better. <laughs> and second, second, which is more helpful, of course. Um, I don't mind. I mean, they, they can think what they what what they like because I'm a professor at the University of California. You know. So the fact that, that that trumps the all, Yeah. <laughs> How about we get the yes, camera sure. running? Sure. Is it running? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, we have this chat and we all just... these stupidities are already. Uh, but yeah, but it, it's gonna be edited like. I got the instructions to record okay. everything. Okay. That, really? Who yeah. instructed it to me? Well, However. Suzanne told me like record everything, and, and they want to like afterwards edit it. Good. So if I have to call you, remind me your name because I. Timea. How do you spell that? T I M E A. E I T. No. T T I. Oh, T I. M E A Timea sounds Greek. Yeah, it is. It is Greek. Yeah, the, it's, beautiful name. Yeah, it comes from Timios, yes. which means honor. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. But, but it's most commonly used in Hungary. Oh, in Hungary. Yeah. You're from Hungary. I'm from, from Hungary. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Hungary. Romania, but I'm from Transylvania. I understand. I understand. Yeah, so I'm Hungarian by origin. Uh -huh. Let's get started. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Otien, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. We're very excited. Yeah, thank you, Charles. Mm -hmm. Very excited about this. You're too disappointed uh, in, in an hour. I look like. However, what we would want to discuss with you is the project we called Formal West. Um, it's a project from what? Former West. Former West, yes. Uh -huh. It's a project we, we started, um, I think, a year ago to mm -hmm. um, look at the year 1989 as one of the most important um, years in political history mm -hmm. in the West. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. course, people in the West write it off as you know a year that meant the end of uh, uh, state communism over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, a, however, believed that it, um, as much it influenced the the changes in uh, Central Eastern Europe, it influenced so-called West significantly. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, in the field of uh, visual arts, perhaps ambition is as big as to rewrite the history of art of last 20 years that would unfold around significant political events. Year 1989, and of course, we're looking at the 9-11 in 2001. We're looking at 15th of September 2008, as well as potentially a very significant moment in our history, redefining where we are today. What's 15th of September? 2008. Ah. Help me. Ah. <laughs> it was Lehman Brothers that collapsed, the banks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So we're looking at uh, what it means for, for the world we... Uh, for, for, for our time, actually, now. 
and this is what we wanted to, to discuss with you. And uh, you've written um, a lot about Europe, maybe. And you've written about Europe after communism mm -hmm. a lot. But I wonder whether you've written um, about the meaning of the year 1989 specifically for the so-called West, and how have you, mm -hmm. have you been looking at 1989, mm -hmm. or where we are here, or mm -hmm. today? Okay, these are great <laughs> and difficult questions, but uh, I'm delighted that we have uh, uh, an opportunity to um, to talk about that, and I think um, I think it's um, it's going. Can you hear me? Uh, are you adjusting? I adjusted. Uh, okay, before. because I have a, uh, and you want me to look at the uh, camera, not all the time. No, I don't think it's not the yes, same. Yes, it's not me and Charles. Okay, 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 okay. We look at each other. Uh, so, um, no, what I wanted to say was uh, first was uh, um, I, I see it as a, as a, as a, as an opportunity for me uh, to um, 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 rethink. I mean, um, think again. About the meaning of this, uh, these dates you mentioned, and uh, therefore also, of course, the uh, um, historic events that they uh, symbolize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Questions which um, um, you said I had written um, on Europe after communism. Uh, that was uh, part of my. Um, double conviction, I would say, to begin with very flat and, and simple uh, 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 things, um, uh, that um, one um, um, our political and cultural and intellectual horizon being Europe, in first instance, seen from France or from what you call the West. Of course, not Europe as a closed universe. Europe as a as a lens through which to 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 address the whole world. Um, um, Europe had uh, a long history in which. Communism was not nothing. Communism, whatever the, I mean, communism as a complex, uh, uh, as a complex uh, idea and and, and, and and phenomenon, something more or less coextensive with the history of Europe, mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. in, a, in a remote past, um, haunting, in a sense. Uh, 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 much or most of um, the trajectory, I would say, of the um, European idea, the European culture, um, and also, let's put it in the etymological sense, but that also includes the ordinary sense, communism as a catastrophe in the history of Europe. So that meant, I said, two things that they, they are combined. I mean, one, that you could not think about Europe by suppressing, uh, suppressing this, um, this crucial element. There are others, of course. Huh? Um, and second, um, um, Something taking place in 1989 that um, looked as um, the end of a division, a scission, a, a, 
schizophrenic uh, uh, moment in, in, in the history of the, um, of the continent. Um, um, that forced us, uh, 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 in a sense, uh, to... Um, well, that could not, of course, mean pure and simply that um, 50 or uh, 80 years of the history of Europe or half of Europe would be uh, erased mm -hmm. uh, and uh, would simply continue something that uh, had been interrupted. Um, but it certainly meant that um, the scission or the division itself be seen as a, as a, as a, as a, as a contradictory uh, uh, um, dialectical moment in 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 the history of the conflictual relationships between the different parts of Europe. So um, I had no no clear idea um, uh, about uh, how to rethink this whole um, um, modern history, if you like. And also, I particularly uh, um, um, worried or. Uh, I was embarrassed by the fact that my um, own experience of the other side was so limited, physical experience. I mean, uh, it, so it's, it's, I was, uh, I was um, living with the, um, an imaginary picture, fantasy, a fantasy, a fantasy. I knew that was very dangerous, but all this being uh, 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 um, uh, uh, taken together, um, I felt um, um, uh, um, a need, I mean a necessity, so to speak, to use every bit of uh, information or, uh, or conceptual scheme I could, uh, I could make use of to um, um, to start, uh, um, uh, I wouldn't say theorizing, but trying to conceptualize about uh, about that uh, uh, event. Uh, basically, with a sort of dialogic uh, um, idea in mind, of course. Uh, uh, that is the idea that if you don't say something. Never imagined I was the only one who would say something. Um, people will react and you learn from their reactions, mm -hmm. and adapt. Mm -hmm. Of course, this had a lot to do with the fact that I had been a communist myself. So I had to. Um, to I had been a communist in in two in two in two in two ways. I mean, two senses which could not be. Uh, entirely separated. I had been a member of the Western Communist Party with all the illusions and, uh, and, uh, <coughs> and, uh, and blind spots. You know, that when, when did you leave? Uh, good question. The same I was asked by the um, um, American consulate uh, <laughs> first applied for a, a visa in 83 to visit the United States. At the time, they still had the question yeah. number 35. Are you, you or have you been a member? Much more interesting than that. Are you or have you been a member of the Communist Party or any um, um, uh, organization affiliated with the Communist Party? Or are you a homosexual or do you suffer a contagious disease? It's one single one single question thirty five. It's complex. It's complex. <laughs> so I for reasons I don't have to explain, I thought it was there was no point uh, trying to hide uh, 
the dirty side <laughs> of my personality. Oh. So I said yes, answered yes. And in that case, you had an interview mm -hmm. and you had to answer another uh, um, row of, of questions. And it took, uh, at the time, they didn't have the computers they have today. So instead of three days, uh, you needed five weeks to get your visa because it went to the CIA headquarters in, in Frankfurt and so on. So I had my interview and uh, um, the woman asked me, when did you leave the Communist Party? And uh, so my first reaction was, how do you know I'm not a homosexual? That was no she fun. Didn't I, I, I didn't get the joke. So. And then I said, uh, but I, no, the question was, why, are you still a member? I said, no, uh, since 81, I said. Uh, and, I, and she said, why did you leave the Communist Party? And I said, I didn't leave the Communist Party, I was expelled. <laughs> and her reaction, which I never forget, was, oh, that's worse. <laughs> because, of course, it, it meant I hadn't further. realized by myself how evil, you know, the communism uh, uh, was. And she, in fact, may have suspected what I was about to say, something like, uh, uh, to me, communism was a beautiful idea, and so on. And uh, even if problematic, you know, and the Communist Party didn't adapt to it. No, I was expelled in, uh, in 81. Uh, as a re but I had been 20 years in the, in the party, which I had joined in 61 in the um, middle of the uh, anti-colonial uh, yeah. struggle uh, so, uh, when I was a very young student uh, against the war of Algeria, which didn't lead necessarily to that, because in fact uh, the Communist Party's attitude in the war of, uh, of Algeria was complex and yeah, to some absolutely. extent questionable in, in many respects, but many of us thought well, possibly I had, my family was not communist, so I wasn't pushed in that direction, but the environment was very um, full of, uh, it's even somebody like Sartre, I mean, who was not a communist himself, brought, pushed a lot of uh, young people in, in, my genera in my generation into the arms, so to speak, of the party, how it was uh, a call. So we, 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 we thought that there were uh, uh, questionable aspects of the, uh, of the uh, uh, attitude of the party, but still it was, maybe I had a, a fatal attraction to uh, uh, powerful organizations, institutionalized uh, forms of uh, political struggle. So I thought, uh, I remember mass demonstrations against the war in which I was very impressed by the discipline of the uh, um, working class uh, detachments, you know, uh, um, uh, they were all members of the Communist Party. And then, uh, this is sometimes not easy to, um, to completely understand today. I mean, the history of communism in the West especially France and Italy, where you had this powerful uh, uh, Communist Party, was full of contradictions and conflicts. Yeah. And then it was, of course, very uh, um, um, fatally, I would say, uh, uh, associated with the policies of the, um, of the um, really existing socialism on the other side. But... Um, can I, can I go, yes, go back to that point? Or to we we'll return to 89, yeah, because to, I to wanted to say something. Yeah. To, what, to, to try and but and one more thing I add, you know, when I joined the Communist Party in 61, uh, again to bring in the historical dimension, uh, that was, I was 19 years old, that is, not a kid, but a very young mm -hmm. man, although fascinated by politics, uh, philosophy, literature, whatever you like. But that was um, five years after 56. Mm -hmm. That is after the Hungarian Revolution. So at that age, when you are 19 years old, five years is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is a 
life. So it's not that 56 didn't exist for us. Of course, we were particularly uh, uh, all the time uh, as progressive uh, young intellectuals reminded of the other side of 56, that is the French, British, uh, 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 neo-colonial uh, uh, invasion of Egypt, uh, and so on and so on. And that was directly linked to the war of Algeria, mm -hmm. the colonial war, because the French thought that the center from which the Algerian uh, uh, revolution was, was, was pushed and levered was Cairo. And so they had the foolish idea that if you attacked, Egypt and, 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 and beat Nasser, you would crush the, uh, automatically uh, suppress the uh, uh, um, resistance and, 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 in, in, in Algeria. And, uh, and that was, uh, but uh, so the, the two well, sides were, right. were, were balanced. But I remember, I'm sorry I'm yeah. very long on that, but yeah. I, um, still, of course, 56 was the problem uh, because it was at least in the kind of circles where I was acquiring, so to speak, my uh, political um, education. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you couldn't easily buy the uh, um, idea that uh, in, 56, in 56 in Budapest you had a counter-revolution that was entirely uh, um, um, organized by fascists and, and, and the CIA. There was a people there in the streets. I mean, that. And um, so that was a big problem. And I remember, but that says something about the naivete, you might think, I mean, and the, the, the need you feel retrospectively, of course, to better understand the history to which you had this kind of imaginary uh, link I was uh, um, uh, alluding to. I mean, so I remember a group of people, including me, who were about joining the party, you know. and for the party leadership, of course, we were just intellectuals, but that was important to them. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. So they knew that a group of young uh, uh, students at the Ecole Normale uh, were uh, about sauter le pas, as we say in French, jumping over. And so, um, but, uh, um, uh, we had these problems, I mean, uh, some problems about, uh, uh, we were enthusiastic about Cuba, but we had problems with, uh, with Budapest. So, and they sent a very smart guy, I remember the discussion. Uh, so we, we, we asked our questions. And he said to us, look, with you I'm not going to play a, 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 a food game. Um, this uh, this was a popular uh, uh, uprising uh, and caused by the uh, criminal uh, behavior of the uh, uh, communist party in um, in, uh, in in Hungary, but a purely Machiavellian kind of uh, argument that, of course, today I would not uh, accept that I didn't accept in '68 in in Prague. Yeah. Or, but that at the time I could accept. Uh, um, this is a relationship of forces. There are two camps in, in, in this world, like it or not, the imperialist side and the entire imperialist uh, uh, side. And without the Soviet Union and the socialist camp, the entire imperialist side collapses. This is not entirely wrong in terms of the Soviet <laughs> and 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 so and 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 if the uh, uh, the the insurgents had won in in, in, in Budapest, the troops. Uh, I mean, the the, the uh, on the other side of the of the uh, of the division uh, line line were ready to. If they had been called, they, they were ready to enter uh, uh, Hungary. Um, Hungary, yeah. and uh, um, um, it would have been a sort of uh, um, domino uh, effect. Yeah. Yeah. Which was the argument of course. In such cases, in such cases, uh, you have to make a choice. Uh, so, what would you choose? And we said, yes, of course, comrades. Yeah. 
we would choose the ugly uh, 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 methods that uh, avoid the worse, mm. you know, prevent, prevent. But I mean, Kissinger would agree, agree entirely with that. Uh, Sorry? Kissinger would agree entirely with that. Analysis. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, that's geopolitics. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I bring yeah, us please, back to 89 for a moment and ask a simple question? How you conceptualized Europe, the European space. There's an inevitability in the sense that you've done of, of, of dealing with, with Europe as a, as a cultural, political environment. But how did 1989 change your concept of Europe? Can you put yourself back there and think about the reactions that you had at that time to the, the changing? In 89, as I just told you, I was no longer a member of the Communist Party. I don't say I was no longer a communist yeah. in some ideal sense. That's uh, it's progressively became um, a, a, a problem, which funnily <laughs> I find uh, uh, more people uh, apparently are willing to 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 discuss again these days. You know. Let's get back to we'll, we'll go uh, on to okay, that. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, um, um, I mentioned this for the following reason. Uh, first of all, to be very honest, I have difficulties to project myself to um, that moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is a blind, uh, I don't know if it's a suppression, if there is a sort of a, um, um, But, um, so I reconstruct, mm -hmm. you see, uh, and I think about it from today's point of view. Now, um, um, it's an archetypical uh, uh, example of what to, to make with dates, uh, which in History books will appear as uh, um, moments of uh, uh, reversal, uh, so that you tend to imagine that uh, uh, before and after are absolutely incompatible uh, uh, worlds. Again, uh, if I had been myself living in Prague or in Budapest or in Moscow, etc. Uh, I'm sure this, uh, I can say what I'm about to say now. <coughs> um, and I have had conversations with friends. But um, the two things that come to my mind are one, on one side, um, I, not only I thought the collapse of the, of the Soviet style uh, the socialist, uh, a system in Europe uh, because we always tend to forget China uh, was inevitable but um, so I saw it pure and simply as the uh, as the uh, realization of um, uh, a verdict if you like of history that had been passed in fact before that so then you ask when <laughs> in, uh, um, uh, on which criteria? Uh, mm. um, I was very opposed. That confirmed me in fact, to the um, a kind of theory that um, um, many Sovietologists or uh, um, political theorists in the West, in France particularly, including ex-Marxists, uh, uh, would uh, would uh, would foster and, and nourish. Namely, the idea that there was something that was part of the theory of totalitarianism, something in the in the um, Soviet political system that made it almost indestructible. Mm -hmm. Not only I didn't believe that, but I was convinced that it was just the opposite. So, uh, and, and, the se and, and the second thing I, I want to do is, on the other hand, of course, that tended to uh, make 1989 pure and simply the end or the point of arrival of uh, 
um, a process that had started before. And uh, whose uh, was, was whose that a slow keys, process? Was whose that? keys I thought I more or less had it was foolishly from outside. And that's a process you could say starting from the beginning, starting from 1917, or a process that started at a certain point. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm afraid the listeners are going to be puzzled. Break. I, I'm unable to, to follow one single line. But so Sorry. quickly, the other thing, and I, I come to that, okay. uh, is seen, seen from today, and that's something on which I would very much like to have your uh, 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 impression. My feeling is that um, we're still in a process of understanding what 1989 exactly meant, certainly the end of something. But we're not even completely uh, uh, um, sure of what ended at that time. And in any case, of course, uh, even if we don't buy the kind of uh, idyllic uh, um, Western liberal uh, uh, picture, you know, return to normality, return to democracy, uh, return to uh, free enterprise, etc., etc. In fact, we we for 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 um, how long has it been? Twenty years now. Twenty years. Uh, Twenty. Uh, um, we've. We've been continuously surprised, in fact, by the uh, uh, after effects of uh, uh, 89. Uh, Who's the uh, man, Much of the time Who's the in the worst. Yeah. Sorry, just. Yeah. Do you think the we is the intellectual community in Europe? Is the is the we the that would be a West? cautious that would be a cautious that would be a precocious way of, of course yes yeah, so uh, I'm just sorry. I'm wondering because we're talking about former West, so we need to yeah, know yeah, the voices. Yeah, yeah. That, Yes, let's say so, yes. Uh, now you asked, uh, um, uh, before that, you asked um, uh, the end of what? I mean, uh, when I said it was inevitable, I mean, that... Uh, yeah, I, th I mean, I think it's, it's also historical, and I'm, I'm worried that we want to get into the 90s, I think, but, but um, I suppose it, it's more a question of did you see... The first answer I, I wanted to give, again, very, very um, narrowly, I wouldn't say, uh, uh, well, self-referential, you know, coming from somebody who had started a process of critical um, re-examination and re-evaluation of his own um, political uh, um, uh, horizons and, and so on. You know. Um, so, um, um, so this communist, uh, in quotes, I, I, I was, I mean, this, uh, this, uh, this, um, this embarrassed or uneasy uh, uh, communist. <laughs> red, red faced um, communist. Uh, I think the, um, I think the kind of Western uh, uh, Marxist or communist intellectual. I was in my way. There were many brands, we all know that, but the nuances yeah. are secondary. Yeah. For um, years, and I would even say for generations, because I tend now to believe that this started very soon after the October Revolution itself, mm -hmm. had been uh, 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 driven in their um, uh, vision uh, and hopes and, and imagination. And utopias, not only by the uh, kind of geopolitical uh, uh, Machiavellian reasoning I alluded to a moment ago, but by the um, conviction, hope, etc., that um, a transformation from inside of the socialist political and social system was possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, uh, we, we, we desperately uh, um, stuck uh, to the idea that within Marxism, communism, etc., there was a critical capacity uh, which um, and, uh, 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 would allow it to 
re to start again, uh, so to speak. Reform itself. Reform itself. Without, without reform collapsing. Itself, yeah. uh, reform itself without collapsing. Number of them. Number of them. And at some point, I think, it became clear that this would not be the case. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's 68. Yeah. Or it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's the it's uh, it's the combination. It's the end of the Cultural Revolution in China as we had imagined it. Yeah. I'm ashamed myself today. You know, uh, <laughs> I was never a Maoist, but uh, about the kind of uh, images I had of the Cultural Revolution. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that looked could appear from outside. There was a strange combination of. So, so to speak, uh, neo-Leninist, uh, left critique, you know, the revolutionary, uh, uh, the radically egalitarian uh, uh, potential that would, uh, the tradition of the commune, it's, uh, that was re-emerging re in, 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 in China. And then, of course, in, in Eastern Europe, you had uh, um, a, a very different uh, uh, type of internal uh, um, uh, attempts at reforming uh, uh, the system, which uh, uh, spoke a different language, but um, was not totally incompatible in terms precisely of, uh, um, and much more real, in fact, than, than China probably, in terms of um, um, autonomy, um, um, collective, uh, uh, initiatives, not to say mass uh, uh, movements, which after all was the case, not only in the Hungarian Revolution, but also <coughs> in, in Poland, uh, mm -hmm. uh, or in, 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 in Czechoslovakia. Uh, and then that, so that could, uh, that, that, that may have been seen in uh, American universities as uh, uh, um, uh, movements for democracy, but many of us, in yeah. the same sense, would see that as virtual contributions to an internal reform of uh, uh, socialism. And then I think how it was seen in and by the what we feel, of course, absolutely, 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 absolutely. And that was shared, you know, by uh, here I'm vaguely identifying to uh, with the whole, the whole institution, but by. Uh, uh, um, uh, Western communists who disagreed on, uh, on almost everything beside that. Yeah. The, 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 the general secretary of the French Communist Party, Van de Crochet, at the time made a desperate attempt at preventing the, 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 the Russian uh, um, uh, uh, troops to invade Czechoslovakia. And he came back from, uh, that was a tragic moment, came back from Moscow and addressed his. Uh, Comrades of uh, spoken the record said, I spoke to Brezhnev and I, he pledged to me that the Warsaw uh, Pact troops would not invade uh, 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 Czechoslovakia. And the morning after, was they the were war. in the streets of Prague. And Van de Crochet was in hospital with, uh, with, uh, with a brain stroke that he uh, uh, yeah. never uh, <laughs> recovered from, you know, for a uh, ten hour. Of fifteen or fifteen years. So, but the point is not only that, because after all, I'm an intellectual uh, philosopher, Marxist theorist, or I was at the time. The point was not was not only that uh, I and others realized at that, that moment, more or less, in those years, in those years, that the forces of reform would always be weaker, in a sense, materially, physically, so to speak, than the uh, system and, 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 and the army. Um, but it was more than that. It was the idea that um, Marxism as a theory had a very central blind spot in its midst of minutes, uh, which made Marxism unfit, I would say, and unable as a theory to propose 
uh, an understanding, an analysis, a historical explanation of what had taken place um, in the form of communist revolutions and so on. So, you know, not only Marxism was not absolute knowledge, etc., etc., but Marxism was unable to understand uh, the causes, the forces, the cultural dimensions, the social, etc., whatever, of the, uh, the history of communism itself. Yeah, and therefore, 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 a system whose not only whose uh, whose uh, official doctrine was uh, a certain form of uh, orthodox, ossified communism, mm. uh, Marxism, uh, but whose opponents, to some extent, I mean, of course, Solidarność was something else, you know, but to some extent, uh, were themselves relying on the same theoretical premises, uh, um, albeit, of course, in a much more intelligent, critical, uh, uh, nuanced, uh, intelligent uh, uh, spirit, uh, uh, would not um, transform itself from the inside. No, no, yes. And, and uh, uh, so that, yeah. that, that connected with a number of things I was talking to understand and to hear, of course, also. Because another interesting aspect of that was that, um, seen from a, a personal, narrow standpoint, my experience of the um, eastern side of Europe, believe it or not, <laughs> was inexistent. I could remain a communist in a sense because I was not going there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have to face the uh, 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 reality of what the name uh, 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 covered, yeah. in, in a sense. I knew a little bit of Cuba, that was a complicated uh, matter. Uh, I had been once in uh, East Berlin, but um, purely uh, uh, touristic uh, mm -hmm. uh, reason. But I had never been to the Soviet Union, and I still have never been to Russia, uh, which is part of Europe. I, this is very important for me. Uh. Uh, Europe in the broad sense, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and so the only place I knew was Prague. Uh, why? Because I had been there uh, in '65 as a romantic uh, young man with my uh, future uh, uh, wife, a dream memory, you know, an enchanted uh, uh, late summer uh, 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 golden uh, 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 moment, and. With all my naivete, I think that in 65, we spoke to people. I didn't speak any Czech uh, uh, language, but I spoke German fluently at the time. And lots of people uh, with a certain, uh, after a certain age uh, 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 spoke German. And, so. and retrospectively, tell me if I'm right or wrong, uh, I think that many of them gave us a sense of optimism because they were already living in the hope and the preparation of the Prague Spring mm -hmm. one another. Right. So, um, and so they were not, they, were, they didn't have a, a, a bad life, materially speaking, and they had a, 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 a horizon of expectations. Mm -hmm. So that was crashed in the most horrible manner in 66. Yeah. Yeah. And after that I had returned to Prague as a member of the Jan Hus uh, 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 Association, mm -hmm. Foundation. Uh, um, I would not say founding member, but uh, I adhered to the uh, uh, organization as soon as it was created in, uh, I think, uh, 81, something like that. So every year I went to Prague, took part in uh, the uh, illegal, they were not really clandestine, but uh, uh, seminars, and spoke with a variety, variety of people s with all sorts of backgrounds, ex-Marxists or some, or absolute anti uh, 
Marx citizen and I got this, who shared the same fate as you know they had been expelled from the university they were forced to make a living uh, in difficult conditions but they uh, struggled to keep an intellectual activity they published semis dads they had these private seminars etc and so the Jan Hus Association which I'm now President of. President of, because Jean-Pierre Vernon, the founding president, has died a few years ago. But it's no longer, of course, what it used to be. I mean, it's not the same use. Huh? So we, um, uh, one of us would go to Prague, and later also to Brno and, and Bratislava, um, each month, I believe, with a little bit of money, books that of course were taken from us very often at the uh, border, uh, border, but not always. Mm -hmm. You got them through sometimes. Not always. <laughs> um, and uh, what else? I mean, uh, and, and ourselves, yeah. I mean, uh, to, to take part in, the, in these, uh, uh, in a sense, I mean, quasi-academic, uh, uh, well, it was a combination of philosophical discussion and political uh, uh, discussion. So. And so I, I, I spoke, um, so, so in a sense it was extremely, it was not exactly sad, but it was melancholic, uh, you know. And Prague was uh, where I haven't returned, I don't know how it is today, uh, was half collapsing. It was a dirty city, it was a beautiful city, it was a dirty uh, city also, as you know, because they used uh, uh, charcoal heating coal. systems, brown and, uh, brown coal, and, and so on and all that. And people were at the same time extraordinarily uh, unhappy and resilient. And the conversations I have not uh, forgotten, uh, especially, uh, uh, I remember, for example, a conversation with Yerji uh, uh, Petschar, uh, great translator of French, German, Russian. Dostoevsky, Freud, Levi Strauss, he was living in the outskirts of Prague in, uh, in, two, in two rooms with no furniture inside. We spoke for hours and I, we discussed about totalitarianism and an Aaron's uh, uh, representation of the uh, uh, system, and he said to me, "Look, what we are living is the exact, the absolute opposite of what you, uh, what Aaron describes in in, in 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 her theory. There is no movement. There is no permanent uh, 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 impulse to to to." To change, there is no strength, no power of the ideology. None of the bureaucrats believes a single word of uh, 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 Marxist theory. They are pure and simply protecting the power uh, 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 positions that they have in the bureaucracy, with the uh, help and the cover of the. Of the, of the, of the, of the the Soviet uh, uh, army. So this, he gave me a picture mm. of the uh, system as, in fact, not only hollow, but somehow already collapsing yeah. from the inside. I mean, morally, etc. So what probably lacks uh, uh, this picture, and which now comes to the to, to the fore, is a sort of everyday life. I would say. Um, um, kind of um, is it security or solidarity? I don't know. Um, that uh, the brutal uh, uh, shift to liberalism and neoliberalism has uh, mm. uh, uh, um, has uh, has uh, hit. And, uh, so can can we can we go to a little bit to eighty nine? I mean, Maybe to sort of close that, well, your description also is very... And we leave my communist background aside. It's, very, it's yeah. wonderful. I mean, I mean, it's very tempting to ask so many questions about it that I'm constantly having to restrain it. <laughs> but, um, but I think that the, the, what you talked about, the hollowness of the system in the 80s in, in Czechoslovakia... In, in, in I had an indirect problem. perception of that, you know, 
through conversations yeah. in the 80s. But I think that's also often conform, can confirm that what happened in 89 was actually a relatively gentle push, but it was such a fragile structure that was existing in 89 that it collapsed relatively easily. There wasn't that much resistance in 89 from the system because, as you say, a lot of the internal um, disbelief in the system had been built up in the years before. So there was, it, was, it was a long process, I think. My question would be, nevertheless, what kind of politics, political practice, if you like, in the um, within from uh, uh, within the uh, Eastern European uh, states um, helped or contributed to the uh, uh, collapse. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely convinced that this was just a passive, so to speak, no, no, uh, I agree uh, 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 inevitable or ineluctable. Uh, uh, ending. But those discussions that you had sitting in that furnitureless apartment are part of the political action yeah. that contributed yes. to yes. that. Yes, yes, of course, there was an internal uh, uh, um, yes resistance which took many different uh, uh, forms. But if you take, uh, I wasn't there, of course, that also, of course, made a strong impression on us. If you take the mass uh, 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 demonstrations and in Leipzig, I mean, in in in, in the DDR, which uh, in a sense uh, uh, provoked the yeah. uh, um, uh, the, push. The, the push, you know. Uh, uh, so we uh, remember that. I mean, it's be now it's becoming a myth because there are different.